Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. Today we're gonna make use of the old Tanacom, do some deep dropping, see if we can't catch some tilefish or rosies or something. Still kind of new to us, so this will be good, uh, good practice and hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll catch some fish in the process. I actually made my rig and I didn't put the hooks on because I knew it would become a tangled mess if I did. So now I just put them on once I pull it out of the uh, rig bag. Any hook you said? Uh, four or five. That harness I think is up under the thing. Got a little blow bead. How would that have go on this clip with the uh... Yeah. Alright guys, take your time, we put our baits on the hooks. Got my light on. All right, guys, down we go. I said when we hit it, Jim, Chris, we just push the lever out, right? Yeah. One lock today and one ring. Give me a little, little reverse. You're looking for 470. Is that in meters? Yeah. I think it should be just on the bottom. I thought it was in feet before. Meters. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was a. <laughs> you want me to, uh, should I give it a second? Uh, yeah, you want me to take it up? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Three hundred. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fifty. Yeah, 40. Thirty. Twenty. Fifty. 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 Um, yeah. Yeah, all the baits seem okay. Where are we at location wise? I was just curious if, uh, you know, what our, what the zone was. I'm Yeah. Yeah.
get, I think, just the golden. Uh, that's cool. Yeah. Alright guys, it's pretty cool. Got our first tile fish. I'm gonna bump us back to where we got the hit. We're gonna drift over there. See if we can't pull up another one. We didn't have anything. We didn't have any numbers. Nothing. We've never done it here in the Keys before. Second time using the deep drop. Like, hey, let's try this depth. Just put it out, started drifting, and got a couple bites. I missed one. Dad went back down, got one. That Chris was going back down on that spot. And I, you heard me, uh, you had your zone for a good while before. Yeah, I think I had him about halfway. Um, so what he's doing is, is we're kind of doing like, um, you know, we're kind of figuring this out as we go. Kind of like we did for swordfish. Um, he's letting it go down. And we're not as deep as sword fishing, so it's a little easier to just drop it down. And when he gets down, you know, the current on top, the surface is moving faster on the bottom. So I'm kind of bumping it forward just to keep the line straight up and down. He's making sure his weight's um, on the bottom. You know, it rocks up and down maybe with the waves, but right there on the bottom. Yeah, a couple of times. So far the Tanacom's working really good. Um, still got to learn a lot of the functions. Got to learn how to change meters to feet. Um, but uh, it's, it's working good. It's getting the job done. So far so good. So we'll, we'll keep giving you guys feedback on how that reel is working. And uh, if you got any other questions about it, let us know. Alright guys, we're back at the dock. And now we're going to clean this towel fish. Um, curious what the meat looks like. Heard they're really good. So let's take a look at these. And the word has it that the meat of a towel fish is a lot like lobster meat. Really? That's what the guy said. I can't confirm or deny it at this point. How's the hide? Kind of tough or not? Yeah, not too bad. bad. Kind of a lot of, it seems like a lot of meat on them, you know? Yeah, they seem pretty fat. Oh, they got fins. Let me get right on this bottom part of this fin right here. That is a little bit, a little bit tough. Easier to go the other way. Seems like it'd be easier to go the other way because. Like that? Yeah. But you're right. Trying to figure out the. Right Bone structure seems a little bit, a bit hard bone there. Got a root cage. It's me. Like white. Mm -hmm. This is dolphin. Mm -hmm. Comparison. There's quite the rib cage right here. I know it don't slide very good on my head. I 
I get that little rib structure out when I get the off the thing. There you have it guys, looks pretty good. Um, excited to try tasting it. We'll probably share some uh, recipe that we used to cook it up. But it was really fun um, catching that thing today. I um, think we got some good ideas for how to better target them on the next trip. You know, we didn't have any numbers at all. We just kind of guessed like, hey, let's try over here. This, you know, kind of a random spot. Tried to find some sand bottom, you know, in the right depth range. And then we just uh, drifted it. So. Uh, still learning a lot. You know, if you got any suggestions, let us know. But uh, it's pretty cool, pretty exciting to learn, and uh, looking forward to trying some more uh, deep dropping and see what happens. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you got any questions or any comments, you know, just comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.